Hello to all my friends out there. So let's get into the food real quick. I hope everyone is doing okay. I'm making some potato cakes with ham. What's really great about this, you can make it with Spam. You can make it with bacon. You can make it with uh, those little canned hams that I love. So for me, this is really good because it's everything in the stockpile. So. I made half a package of mashed potatoes. I keep these in the stockpile. Here it is. I like this one, you just add water. So now where is my list? You know I have a micro mover. Okay, I need potatoes, ham, cheese, onion, egg, and breadcrumbs. Okay, so I bought these nice little pieces of ham, look. At 99 cent only, I bought six for $3.99. I have bought some nice stuff there. And so what I did is I froze them, I have one left, in packages of two. Here's the other one. Some people hate, uh, hate uh, pork. So if that is you, then just uh, add cheese or some other veggies. So I figured, I thought, wow, how can I cut this stuff? Well, you know, when you buy diced ham, uh, I, I just want about a half a cup because uh, if you get too much ham, you're not gonna have any uh, potatoes. So uh, let me cut this real quick. So I was excited because I'm always looking in, in the, I got this from the lady in front of me in uh, 99 cent only, you know, she had about four of these and I asked her, what are you going to do with those? And she, she told me she, what she was going to make. She goes, I love it. And I go, yeah, that sounds really, really good. And then she told me the way she, and I said, well, do you mind me asking you? She was a nice, really nice lady, younger lady. Do you mind me asking you, what do you serve with it? And she said, well, I serve a salad uh, with uh, lemon and salt. And I thought, oh, that sounds good. So uh, that's what I'm making tonight. So now let's see, I should have brought something major. Okay, so that's good. It's only one, one cup of potatoes. So let's see what I have here. I think that looks about, yeah, that's just about right. What is this? This is a one third cup. I just cut it, you know, in little pieces. And then I need cheese. It could be any kind, but she was using this kind and I always buy this stuff. So I go, yeah, that would be good. So let's get some uh, cheese. Um, not that much cheese because uh, that might cause my potato, about half as much cheese. Uh, that might cause my um, my potato cakes to um, to burn. And then I have some green onions that I chopped. And I have one egg. Probably it would be better to beat it, but you know, I didn't do it so it's too late for that. So I have potatoes, ham, cheese, onions, eggs, and then I'm gonna mix this up. I'll mix the egg around in the middle and then, and then I will just add the breadcrumbs so that I can shape it into a patty. So here it is. This should make several, quite a few breadcrumbs. I mean, quite a few uh, potato cakes. If I didn't have bread crumbs, all I would have to do is uh, cut some bread in little cubes, 
toast them at the oven and roll them with a rolling pin in a baggie. If I had a baggie, I'm out of baggies. I gotta remember, I use them all the time. I really need. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding the breadcrumbs so that I'm gonna be able to shape this into, um, into a, a patty of sorts. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a perfect patty. Uh, I'm gonna drop mine. Uh, I think this looks good. So here we have it. So now I have some uh, oil and I already heated it so it shouldn't take too long. So that's all that's in it. And now I'm gonna fry them up. So I hope everyone is being careful with their money. I know I am. California is very expensive. But it's always been this way, so it's like nothing new to us. That's to be expected. Okay, so I was excited, very excited, because today I got this new teacup. Look how pretty this is. I bought this for $3.99, and when I got home, this is a ballerina universal oven proof. I don't know who would put their... I think this is a coffee cup. But I looked these up and one sells for $20. But that most likely is because uh, if you break one, say if you have a set uh, and you break one, then you know you have to pay somebody for their teacup. So it's a little bit, I have some black tea. You know, these, these pretty teacups make all the difference. See, take a look at my beautiful tea if you can. impossible okay so I want to demonstrate my napkin folding so you you fold your you fold your napkin down the long way see how that's like folded the long way and then just fold the each side into the middle and then fold this down so it's like a little tie it's just plain cute Okay, and I have some milk. So this is so nice having two decent, what did I do with my spoon? Having two decent, um, two decent cups now. This is heaven. This is just plain old, oh no, this isn't plain old black tea. This is a good stuff. I got, um, Remember I bought this uh, gift box thing? So that's awesome. Okay, so now, now let's see if this is ready. It can easily be tested. All right, so let's see. Ah, it's good to go. So uh, since I'm new to this recipe, I'm going to start out with small ones because I have learned the hard way that when there are too big, that's when problems can happen. So this is not an expensive meal. If I can, I want to fry them all up. And I'm frying in corn oil because that's just what I had. So it looks like I'm going to get a uh, five. That's pretty good out of one cup of, of potatoes. Uh, this would be a really good thing to make if you had leftover potatoes. You know, if you made baked potatoes and you had leftovers, that'd be great. And I like to fry up everything I've got. So even if I've only got a little bit in here. Uh, you guys, you know when I did all that cooking? 
I ate all the, that's why I had the lunches, because, you know, I had plenty of food for dinner. Okay, so life is good. My potato cakes are frying. Okay, so now I want to make the salad. Okay, so now in the salad is going to be, it's going to be an easy salad. Let's see if these are ready to flip. If you wait until they're fried good on the one side, not like the other day on the pancake. Actually, though, you guys, those pancakes tasted really good. They didn't look very good, but they sure did taste good with my homemade uh, I gotta watch them. I will be too bummed out if I burn them again. If I burn anything again, that will be a bummer. Okay, so now for the salad. Uh, the gal told me to chop the lettuce and I knew she was an Hispanic girl. And I knew exactly what she was talking about because I used to work in the Hispanic shops all my life. So I'm pretty much wise to their ways. Looks like I got just about enough oil in there too. Okay, so now... I bought a package, uh, I, I bought this at 99 cent only, a package of lettuce mix. So, is this showing? Yeah, it's showing. I want to chop it. You don't have to, but it's probably going to taste a lot better if you do. And if I have a little bit, if I have a lot, you know, I'll just eat it later. So let me, let me chop this. I find this uh, salad mix to be good. I bought it at 99 cent only. Let me check these. Yummy. I want to mention something that I've been using. Have you guys seen this? It's garlic, parsley, and salt. It just has a really good taste. I put a little on my ham. Everything is already cooked, so you know, you're just heating it into patties. And then this is black pepper. So by the time I get done with this, it's going to be a quick, easy meal. So I have some uh, some chopped lettuce, and then I chopped uh, tomatoes. I had some green onions and some uh, cucumber that I bought at 99 cent only. Okay, so now my salad is done. That was easy, quick and easy. Whoops. My kitchen is little, but, you know, I still can't. So, basically, these would be like a... Um, like a salmon patty or a, like a tuna burger. Okay, so here's my salad, just a green salad. We'll, we'll come to that later. So life is good, you guys. So I said to myself, you know, really, you know, you could try to look a little bit nicer after all, you were in the beauty business all of your life. So what I did, and I thought, how stupid can you be? I went into, uh, you know, I went on to uh, Safari and I looked up makeup for older women. And so, you know, I applied. Let me show you my eye makeup. 
And I thought, yeah, it looks pretty good, but I thought, how stupid are you? Just go look for younger women makeup if you want to look younger. So my new makeup helped a lot. I've been drinking this stuff nonstop. Yes, I've been bad. I had to confess. Okay, so now in my salad. Ooh, these look good, you guys. Ooh, they just felt ready. So I need uh, lemon and salt. When I was a hairstylist, the biggest cause of failure was, oh my, my. The biggest cause of failure was failure to, to follow the instructions. Let me see if I can get it. They smell great. I eat everything, even the bits. Ooh, this one, this one right here is looking good. See that one? Uh, if I had a grill, which I do want to get one, I, I really got to get a few things, you know, like a grill. So for my uh, salad, I'm going to need uh, salt and lemon. Okay, so now I think a couple of them are ready, like this one. This is kind of like the depression meal, you know, that was a potato, onion, and uh, this one's ham, but I made it into a patty. But it's also is like a scramble. I was thinking about that just now. So the more low-cost meals that one can find, the better equipped one would be to withstand some kind of uh, depression or something. But if you are very, very careful with your money, it's strongly possible that, uh, you know, uh, you're not going to be suffering too much lack. I was telling my son, let me see, well, I was, here they are, I was telling my son that I remembered something that I did a long time ago. And what I did was I consolidated all my debts when I was married to my ex-husband. So I said to my son, you know, we should do that again and just get them all in one easy, cheaper payment before this interest spikes. So you guys might want to consider that. Okay, so now I just want a little, ooh, this is going to be good. Uh, first of all, I love mashed potatoes myself and uh, fresh lemon would be best but you know I have these gallons of lemon so I will put a little lemon and a little salt so how easy was this Okay, now let me taste this, and I will tell you, if I like it, I will say I like it. If I hate it, I will, if I hate it, you'll never see the video. I, if the food, I have made food before that you guys have never seen, and I literally had to throw it up. Yeah, so you never saw <laughs> Ooh, yummy. You could make eggs with this, but you really don't need it. That's one of my better ones. Now let me taste the salad. You know, this is a good way to get a lot of the, um, the fat out of your salad if this tastes good. That is good. Just when you think you know everything, you find out you don't. Okay, I have 
some stuff to tell you guys. Okay, I posted all the videos from the last week, and there's a lot of, I all the recipes from the last week onto my Twitter. Go to Rotorstone Twitter. And there was quite a few recipes. Okay, California has the COVID-19 vaccine lottery. $11.6 million to potential voters before the recall election. No, I added that. That's not it. 15 people will get $50,000. This comes June 4th. 15 people will get $50,000. That comes June 11th. Okay. June 15th. The state reopens. Ten people will get $1.5 million. Now, mind you, we got a, a trillion people in San Diego, so that the odds are pretty darn slim. I wouldn't race out and get vaccinated, you know, but, you know, the potential is there if you have been vaccinated. Okay, the first 2 million people since May 27th, which was just a couple days ago, will get $50 gift cards from Kroger. You can use it at Kroger, Ralph's, Safeway, Vons, Pavilions, and Dree Coast Community Markets. Now, I don't think this is going to happen, but if the people trying to... Uh, to, re, to recall the election and get 12% petitions to remove Gavin Newsom. So 12% of the gazillion trillions of people will sign this bill, and if it gets on, then 50% have to vote yes. Now, I will be voting no, because even uh, his... Um, the people who want to get him out of office have to admit he's done a good job on the COVID. Now, what what I think they're really mad about is that somehow two ballots were put into the uh, hands of everyone. I myself had two ballots for the presidential election. And I was moving and I said, I will vote no matter what. I will vote for President Trump. Almost killed me. I get over there and I take my mail-in ballot with me and I said, oh, listen, what do I do? Do I fill this one out here? And she takes it to her, give me that thing, and she starts putting X's all the way through. She goes, no! So, like, I think that's what's really got people hysterical. Okay, so now, here's what they say. Laws endorsed favor foreign nationals in our country, illegals, over our own citizens. We have the highest taxes, the highest <laughs> homeless, the lowest qual quality of life. We are a, a sanctuary state and fails to enforce immigration laws. This is what they're saying. Uh, they want to remove Proposition 15. Now, that one is, like, worrisome because that kind of pro protects us from the property taxes. But that probably couldn't last forever, no matter who was uh, the, the president. Water rationing, increases in taxes, and restriction, restricting parental uh, rights. That's what they're saying. That's not necessarily true. Now... I have a stock for you. Tattooed Chef INC is $22.34 per uh, share. Okay, if you would like to see, go to my Twitter, I mean my Instagram, and I have posted the stock page. And uh, I think it's pretty good um, stock. My son has has uh, done research and eaten four of their meals, which can be purchased at Target. And there is a picture on my Instagram of this food. And they said it was good. 
You know, they want us to go meatless, a little bit more meatless. But I got to tell you what I bought. So my son buys four frozen meals of these, um, what are these, frozen meatless meals. So what I'm doing is I'm preparing for... So, uh, you know, if the um, if you have compounding interest, if you can refinance your credit cards, that's going to help you a lot because this interest is going to start going up soon. Uh, I have lived through a couple of these. So I bought this uh, rockfish and salmon. Both of these were $6. Now the meatless meals were $20. Also, I bought tons of bread at Lulu's Market. So, uh, I don't want to be reduced to, like, I can't imagine being desperate for fish. Uh, but, you know, never say never, because how, do you, how the hell do you know, really? Okay, so now, I want to mention, you know, I sell on eBay. eBay is 200% to 300% of a bigger selling platform than Etsy, which will be selling, taken over by uh, Depop, but they want to grow, you know, so I, I didn't mention that, but um, what I do is I do the, um, I do the auction, it doesn't cost me anything, I don't have to pay for a store. And if you're good and you and you send your customers, I've had to do a few refunds, and you uh, you send your stuff at, on a timely uh, manner. I have 200 posts now. I mean, some people will post like thousands and thousands of items, but I like the auction. And what I try to do is force myself to sell items that I mean I post items that I want to sell immediately and it takes time to learn why do you want to pay for a store when it's going to take you a while to learn so what I'm doing now is I'm buying uh inventory for younger people like this uh, I when I'm done with this I'll sell it at the swap meet this is pretty I just I bought this for myself but um on this kind of stuff uh, three dollars each or two for five dollars and this stuff too uh, not this this is a good glass this is super cute look this is sand dollars this uh, necklace and I have history I had it on consignment I went and the store was closed but luckily I got myself stuff back you guys I really like this salad with the uh, lemon and the uh, salt so here you have it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.